What up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Controversial Album Covers. This is episode number 47, and we are sponsored by SpatulaCityRecords.com. We sell records, sometimes CDs, occasionally a cassette. Once in a while, a reel to reel. We don't really have a firm grasp on our business model. So on this episode, we're going to talk about Uriah Heep's Demons and Wizards. At first glance, this is a fairly innocuous cover. It's a gatefold, so you get the whole picture all the way around. Pretty awesome. A little waterfall right down the middle. A little wizard. I don't see the demon, but I'm sure he's there somewhere. Uh, this was released in 1972. It was The art was done by Roger Dean. Roger Dean was a, a furniture designer and later on went on to do albums. Now, as a furniture designer, his biggest claim to fame was the sea urchin chair, which unless you're a museum curator or are a big fan of 60s and 70s furniture or mid-century modern furniture, you probably don't know what that is. But you probably know its predecessor. And its predecessor was the beanbag chair. Yes, that's right. Roger Dean is the guy. And I think he, he, there's a couple other people that didn't get credit for it, but uh, he designed the sea urchin chair, which later became the beanbag chair. Um, pretty interesting. Has nothing to do with the album, just whatever. Uh, Roger Dean also started, his first album actually was the label for Fly Records. Again, it, they did a lot of interesting stuff, but unless you're really deep into records, you probably don't know who he is. However, if you're familiar with T-Rex, then you definitely know their work. T-Rex did, a, he, he worked with Boland and they did a lot of stuff, so... Uh, by that point, he moved on to do Yes Logo, and most of the Yes album covers are done by Roger Dean. Um, so he's he's pretty well known in there. And then after that, he came up with this. Now, again, this at, at first glance, this is pretty innocuous. What, what could what could anybody possibly have with this record? Well, unfortunately, if you look closer to it, right here at the top of the waterfall, this looks an awful lot like a JJ. Yes, and then if you go further down in the dark area here, that looks a lot like a phallic penis going, getting ready to enter the JJ. Now, this was not ever caught by anybody. It was never uh, banned. It was never covered with a sticker. Nobody ever knew anything. Uh, I believe Roger Dean came out later and said something flippant like, no, I would never do that. It's just, a, just the way it looks. You guys are thinking too much about it. Wink, wink. Uh, so... Be on the lookout for this. It doesn't change the value, but it's fun trivia to tell your friends while you're sitting around. Uh, and just remember, kids, rock and roll is the work of the devil, and this is what you get when you work with the devil. Have a great day. As always, Spatula City Records. Later.